The chip is the basic building block of modern electronics in computers, cell phones, solar cells, LEDs, and gaming consoles. Chips are produced on wafers made up of materials known as semiconductors. These semiconductors are chosen based on their desirable electronic properties. Gallium arsenide and indium phosphide, also known as 3,5 semiconductors, are examples of semiconductors commonly used in the industry. However, the method used to create chips has the potential to create high volumes of hazardous waste, potentially affecting humans and the environment. Wen Zhang, a postdoctoral researcher at the Center for Environmental Implications of Nanotechnology at UCLA, is currently studying the potential effects of this waste. Wafers, which are used to make chips for consumer products, can be composed of 3-5 materials such as gallium arsenide and indium phosphide due to their favorable electronic properties. These chips consist of two main elements, transistors or simple microscopic switches and wires or interconnects which connect the transistors. In order to improve performance and cut costs, the transistors and wires are made smaller and smaller with each new generation of chip. This increasing the demand for the use of semiconductors at a smaller size, the nanoscale, which is 100 nanometers or less. As the demand for chips increases, the market for 3-5 nanomaterials is expected to continue to grow. When the wafers are fabricated into chips, they must undergo a process known as chemical mechanical planarization, or CMP process. CMP is a polishing process that smoothens and flattens the wafer surface. If the surface isn't perfectly flat, smooth, and free of scratches or other debris and defects, then transistors and wirings cannot function properly. First, the wafer is placed into a rotating carrier arm which holds the wafer face down onto a rotating polishing pad. Next, a mixture of water, chemicals, and abrasive nanoparticles known as a pristine slurry is dispensed onto the polishing pad. The key role of the nanoparticle in the slurry is mechanical. The rolling, bouncing, and sliding action of the particle wears away at the surface. Afterward, the spinning wafer is pressed down onto the pad allowing the slurry to come into contact with the wafer surface. This process is repeated multiple times on various layers of wafer. A typical CMP process could generate a large amount of hazardous waste containing spent slurry nanoparticle, 3 fine materials, water, and pack cleanser. It is possible that 3-5 nanoparticle and ions released during the CMP process may come contact with the humans through occupational exposure via aerosolized nanoparticle, or may get into the environment through release into a landfill. Due to the potential risk to lung tissue through inhalation exposure, we performed cell toxicity study by using lung epithelial and white blood cell lines. In our study, we chose four commonly used 3-5 materials in both micro and nano size, including gallium arsenide, indium arsenide, gallium phosphate, and indium phosphate. We also choose the 3,5 ionic form as a comparison. These materials were incubated with both cell lines over 24 to 72 hours with varied concentration ranges to study cell death and cell viability. The toxic effects of micron-sized 3-5 materials have been previously studied in living organisms. However, no comprehensive assessment has been undertaken to describe potential hazardous effects of smaller nanoscale 3-5 particulates and ionic forms. Research on 3-5 nanomaterials toxicity is necessary as the demand for the chips using 3-5 nanomaterials is expected to increase. We found that nano-sized 3,5 arsenides, including gallium arsenide and indium arsenide, could induce more significantly cell toxicity at 24 to 72 hour observation period. In contrast, gallium phosphide and indium phosphide particulates 
were substantially less hazardous. For the ionic form, gallium and indium ions were also substantially less hazardous, suggesting that arsenic ions are the leading contributor to toxicity. The principal mechanism of 3,5 arsenized nonparticle toxicity is due to the dissolving of the arsenic ions both inside and outside the cells. These results demonstrate that 3,5 arsenides, gallium arsenide, and indium arsenide nanoparticles contribute in a major way to the toxicity of 3,5 materials that could appear in slurries. The findings of our study are very important for considering how to deal with the hazardous potential of CMP slurries in relation to occupational exposure. The toxicity results of this material are useful in planning studies using model organisms, toxicological analysis of various complex CMP slurries, and occupational disease prediction in semiconductor industry. In order to validate our findings from cell toxicity study, we'll be using the same 3-5 materials to perform animal study. This will help us understand the toxicity effect in lung tissue induced by 3-5 materials.